Steam gift card virus is a dangerous malware with account stealing functions that hides within the Windows system root to secretly add harmful files to your computer. It may spread via the platforms Discord and Steam chat, via hacked profiles sending out a malicious URL that pretends it is a Steam gift card activation dot. This malware looks like safe software, allowing it to slip past firewalls and install malicious files undetected. Its primary goal is to collect private data like login info, browsing records, financial details, and cryptocurrency keys. Once this account stealer enters your system, you may lose control of it and your sensitive information could be accessed or deleted. Watch this video to learn how to remove Steam gift card virus. Hello guys and now I will be covering the topic of how you can remove this nasty trojan or malware threat that's been plaguing your computer recently. This video will be including automatic removal and then it's going to take you from through the manual removal steps plus some backup tips. Now, first of all, before beginning this video, I want to say that it's very important that you look only for legitimate sites or video YouTube channels that are uh, real people and uh, because there are a lot of sites that are dubious and are only after your money. So you need to be careful and always check the people behind it. So let's begin with the removal process, shall we? For the automatic removal, we're going to be using the help of an advanced anti-malware software which we're going to be downloading by going at the removal video and clicking at the link in the description. After you click the link, it's going to take you to the removal article of this specific thread. In it, click the download button and it's going to take you to the download page where the download should start automatically. When it's done, simply open the installer it's gonna take you through a language and installation steps process. Simply follow those steps, uh, agree with the license terms, and then click accept and install. Uh, installation should take about a couple of minutes time. And after that, uh, when her setup is done and you click finish, uh, the scan should start automatically. Now this software doesn't just scan for the virus files. It's gonna detect any objects that may be potentially unwanted, any adware, any cookies that may be tracking your information and so on and so on. And the uh, scan should take a bit of time and when it's done simply you have to uh, select all the objects that are viruses and click on the next or fix now button and the software will take care of them. Easy as that guys. So for the manual removal, you need to have some experience in removing threads. Now, before beginning the removal, I highly suggest that you back up your files, whatever they are, especially the important files. Simply, you can copy them on a flash drive, you can uh, uh, upload them to the cloud, doesn't matter, really, it doesn't matter. Uh, it's good to have a backup because you never know what's around the corner, guys. Any, any moment, your computer can break down and anything can happen. After you've backed up the files, it's time to enable the visibility of the hidden files which the virus may be concealing from, your, uh, from you. Uh, to do that, you're going to open the search and you're going to type show hidden files and folders and then you're going to have to click on it. It's going to open the settings and then you're going to tick on the show hidden files, folders and drives option, then click on apply and then click on OK to accept the setting. And that's it. Now you all, do that, do all that's need to be done is to find the files. To do that, simply open your computer and on the search bar on top right, uh, type file extension and then the extension of the file. In this case, we have set up an example file which, which is exe file called example virus file. Uh, imagine that ex this example virus file is the virus name. You're gonna type the name after that and then you're gonna hit enter. And as you can see, it's loading up there and it's gonna find the file, whatever it is on your computer. Windows is gonna do that for you. And then you have to select the file and simply remove it. That's it. Now, another way to set up that and to find the virus file, if you don't know, is to always check our article in the description. It's gonna make sure to have info of the file. But even if the article in the description doesn't have the info in the file, you can find it via the following method. Press Windows button and R and type reg edit. Now we're gonna have to remove any registries that viruses usually create on your computer from the registry editor. But first let's back it up by clicking on file and export. 
then save it somewhere where you can easily find it by clicking on all on export range and naming it something that's easy to remember and then click save after you've done that uh, this will make sure that this is your last known good configuration and you can always go back to it if something messes up by clicking on file and import so to find any virus registries you gonna have to type control and s combinations on your keyboard and then you're gonna look for specifically keys only make sure they are ticked and then you're gonna look for the run or run once keys if a virus has set up a key it's most likely there now in those keys uh, the virus should usually have a value if you right click on the value you can easily delete the key and this will stop the virus from automatically running plus it can help you find the virus file location so thanks for watching guys make sure to like if you found it useful